Brian Kelly comes into his third season at LSU, and he'll have to replace Heisman winning quarterback Jaden Daniels. Lincoln Riley also comes into his third season at USC, and he'll also have to replace a Heisman winning quarterback in Caleb Williams. These two teams meet at a neutral site in Las Vegas in week one. Who's better prepared for the 2024 season? Well, we're going to talk about it, but before we do, I got to tell you about a promotion we have available right now at wagertalk.com. From now until August 31st, you can get all my football picks. That's college football, NFL, and NFL preseason until the end of September for one low price of 249 bucks. Why would you be interested in that? Well, over the summer, I do my homework. The results speak for themselves. I'm 41 and 12, 77% with college football in August and September, the last two seasons. You throw in NFL and NFL preseason, we're still hitting 75%. You can get that right now at wt.buzz slash deals. That's the Wager Talk deals page. However, there's no obligation to purchase anything from me. You're more than welcome to tune in for the free content. The only thing I ask from you is that you take the time to smash that like button, and that will allow me to keep on putting out these videos. Let's get into the free pick. LSU is a six-point favorite, total sitting at 63 and a half. As I mentioned, both these teams are are in their third season under their head coaches, and both teams are replacing Heisman winning quarterbacks. Uh, Garrett Nussmeyer will come in for LSU, and he's coming off of a big performance in the bowl game, throwing for 395 yards, three touchdowns, an interception on 31 of 45 passing. It wouldn't shock you that it's a similar story for USC. Miller Moss had a big bowl game as well, throwing for 372 yards, six touchdowns, an interception on 23 of 33 passing. Uh, both teams struggled on defense last year, LSU allowing 28 points per game and USC allowing 35 points per game. Of course, both teams have a new defensive coordinator and both teams are claiming that they're going to be a lot better this year. Well, that remains to be seen. Uh, LSU, in addition to losing their uh, starting quarterback, they also lost their leading rusher, who was also their starting quarterback. Jalen Daniels was the leading rusher for LSU last year, and that's an indication that they've got a lot of work to do in their running game. Uh, they lost Malik Neighbors and Brian Thomas, their top two receivers. The third string receiver, Kyron Lacey, will step up. They brought in some transfers. We'll see how that works out. Uh, it's the same story for USC. A ton of new guys, not huge names, not guys that we can really put our finger on the pulse and say how good these guys are going to be and how well it's going to work out. Um, Lincoln Riley is 19 and 8 at USC, and Brian Kelly is 20 and 7 at LSU. So these two teams are looking very similar, but I, I do trust Lincoln Riley a little bit more than I trust Brian Kelly. Uh, Riley's, uh, his ability to uh, be a quarterback whisperer, I think speaks for itself. Uh, last year, Brian Kelly with the, uh, Heisman winning quarterback was more the exception rather than the norm, whereas Lincoln Riley seems to be uh, ha have a longer history of doing that. Um, the neutral site game and the fact that they're getting six points, I will say I'm doing videos for every game on the board or as close to as I can. There's better games out there to bet on than this one with so much uncertainty. But with the uncertainty and with the fact that I'm more of a Lincoln Riley guy than a Brian Kelly guy, I'll be inclined to take the points. So we're going to take the plus six with USC in this contest. If you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you got anything to say to me, even if it's nasty, you hit me up in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can.